I'm sorry if I seem uninterested or I'm not listening or I'm in Hey guys, my name is Cameron and in this video I'll be discussing to you guys about how to overcome your fears of public speaking. Main goal is to help convert you, the audience, from a shy person into a more confident person who feels comfortable giving public speeches and to enjoy them as well. Now, from my personal experience, to be honest, I used to hate giving public speeches. I used to hate it, it was horrible, I just felt like it was the worst thing in the world. But about last year, I overcame that fear when I had to give my own speech in front of the whole class. And to me, that was a life-changing experience because it was probably the first speech I ever gave and felt confident and I felt confident about it. And I think that's the the upside when you are trying to convert yourself from being a shy individual into a more confident because you get to express your emotions more and you get to talk to the audience without being scared. Oh that was horrible, that's so awesome. Now moving along, you might be asking yourself why, why do I feel scared? Why do I get stage fright? Well, I have the answer to that. You yourself is probably thinking, what is the audience thinking about me? Do they think I'm bad at this? Do they think I look stupid for it? But no, no. What I want to talk to you about is how to overcome these fears. I know I said a bit previously, but this will be a step-by-step -step guide. So, step one. Always think to yourself, it's in the brain. It's in the brain. It's not real, it's up in here. If you overcome that fear, you can do steps two, three, four, and five. Easily. Now, step two. Speak from the inside. What I mean by that is, speak from your heart. Because when you speak from your heart, you tend to feel more comfortable along as you go, which will make you instantly click with the audience, and that will provide a very positive environment for both you and the audience. Step three, don't stay still. Because when you stay still, the audience thinks you're bored. Always move around, use hand gestures, uh, joke with the audience. Just do, just occupy them so that they won't get bored of you. That's basically the main thing. You cannot let the audience get bored of you. Because when they're bored, it'll be hard to get their attention. Now, step four, eye contact. You don't want to be talking to an audience like this. Hi guys, hi guys, no. You want to be talking eye to eye. You can, you can make eye contact with more than one audience, but just make sure you're walking around, you're looking at a different audience. Never look at the floor and never look up like that because then you'll lose that connection with the audience. And lastly, step five, be yourself. You know, d don't try to be someone you're not because then everything just gets messed up. Always, like I said, I'm just going to sum up everything. Speak from the heart. Oh, one more thing. If you make a mistake, I said that before, but I'm just emphasizing it again. If you make a mistake, please don't let the audience know you made the mistake. Oh, that's the worst thing ever. Do not do that. Because when you do, they will know it. Audience will know it, and oh, your, your speech will just be a disaster. If you mess up on one word, try to change it around so that it fits in together, or take a pause, and then do it again. Because then, you would make the audience laugh, which is it's pretty funny, because like you're talking, 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 and then you suddenly, and then you talk again. Well, in some situations, it's funny. But, anyways, to conclude, just don't, don't, don't know that you made a mistake, because if that happens. So now, sadly, we come to a close. Um. It's been nice talking to you, but just before I leave and close this segment, 
I'll let you, you know one thing. And that is, never doubt yourself. And I said this before, everyone is human, everyone makes mistakes, life goes on. And always remember, if you fail, if you fall, you will always, and even in the future, pick yourself back up. So what I'm trying to say is, if you fail, you can't always fail. You will one day lift yourself back up. There's a famous saying, in every tunnel, well, th there is a light at the end of every tunnel. And that's what I want you to remember. So I would say this again, my name is Cameron, and thank you for watching the video. Now, now, oh, what are you moving on now?